right, so this is where I store all my makeup and I'm just going to move it closer so you can see. Alright, so these are the acrylic cases that I got from the reject shop. And I prefer to store my makeup in an acrylic case because then you can see what makeup you have. And if I don't see it, then I won't use it because I'll forget about it. Alright, so... I've got all my foundations right here and as you can see I use the L'Oreal True Match and I have it in like different shades like for the summer and winter and this is where I keep my lipsticks and I have the Elizabeth Arden and then the Estee Lauder ones right here and some Rimmel ones at the back that's the Kate Moss one and then we also have the Lancome Tinted Moisturizer and the Invisible Zinc one and the Professional Benefit Primer. These are really good. This is the Victoria's Secret Hypergloss Eye Shimmer and these are really pretty if you put it over your eyeshadow. I really like this one and it also comes in a silver color. Setting sprays, I like the Banyu Final Seal. This one is like really, really good. And at the bottom I have my MAC blusher and the Body Shop powder. And the Rihanna blusher, another blusher there and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And over here I have the Tarte Primer and the Victoria's Secret um, Highlighter. So these are all my eyeshadow brushes and some mascaras. So I store them in there. Oh yeah, thumbs up if you love My Little Pony. I got this from Kmart for $2. So over here I have more of my brushes and these are all my face brushes. And I store them in another candlelight holder. This is like a bigger version of that one there. I have the Elf face brush and then the Real Technique stippling brush. And this brush is pretty good. It's by Fake Face Professional in number 49. And I got this from Gloss. Alright, so at the bottom here I have... Again, these two acrylic cases, um, these are from the reject shop as well. And I have in here the Tarte Lip Surgeons. And I got this in the uh, Holiday 2013 set. And I have the Face of Australia Lip Gloss. And these are all mostly drugstore ones. And the Revlon Lip Butters. I really like the Revlon lip butters. They're so moisturizing. I have a couple of them. And over here we have more lip glosses and I really like the Revlon lip gloss. And it's in Afterglow. Um, it's a really pretty color. I got this from Gloss. Then we have more lip glosses. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. But yeah. Okay, so this won't go in the acrylic case because they are a bit too long. So I just put them in this little candlelight holder. Over here I have this acrylic case and you can see there's like different compartments. So I separate all my eye products and these are like eyeliners here. And these are like for my eyebrows. And then lip liners. And this is the... Garnier roll on for under your eye. Okay, so that's my jewelry box and it opens up like that. It's pretty cool. And then there's a drawer there, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so I started off with just this Coastal Sense palette and the naked one. And then suddenly, when I started making YouTube videos, I've collected more than I need. Okay, so this are uh, the Coastal Sense one. And this is basically the 88 Ultra Shimmer Eye Shadow Palette. And that's that. 
and then we also have the 88 Metal Mania palette. And I haven't used those for a while. I should get back to using those. And then what else? Here I have the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. And this is a really, really good palette. And I don't regret buying this at all. Okay, so next is this one, the Naked 2. And then we have the Naked 1. And this one is basically the Elizabeth Arden um, eyeshadow palette that came with the Blockbuster set. Here we have the Meat Matte Nude palette and this is by The Bomb. And they're all matte eyeshadows. So this is also a really good palette to have. And then I have the Napoleon Purdy's contour and highlight palette. This one is by Estee Lauder and this was in the holiday blockbuster set as well. And then we have the Body Shop um, eyeshadow. I think this is a limited edition one. I don't think they have it anymore. And this other designer brands one, I probably would chuck this out because the eyeshadows are really bad quality and they're very flaky. A lot of fallout, I don't like them. And that's the Estee Lauder blush palette. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lavish set. I have used this in my recent video and this is a very good buy. I had to hunt high and low for this product because it was sold out at Sephora. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I finally found it on Nordstrom and I think I got the last one. I don't think they have it anymore. Why is it when they make a really good product, it's always a limited edition one and once it's out, it's out. Why? Why can't they just keep making them? And this is the NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo set and this one is the mini version. And it's got the Laguna and Orgasm. These two are basically um, drugstore eyeshadows. It's the Maybelline and Victoria's Secret one. Okay, so these are all the palettes that I have and I really want to add the Lorac Pro palette to my collection but I can't seem to find it anywhere. And the only place that they have it I think is at Ulta and the Lorac um, website. But none of those websites will let me put an international billing address so I can't order from them. 